Alright guys, welcome back to part two. Um, if you haven't watched part one of this day yet, make sure you go watch that first. Um, but yeah, like I said, on our second drift with Snapper, a massive school of who came underneath the boat, and this is pretty much what happened next. Um, so I made a few stuff ups with this half of the video, pressing record when my GoPro was already recording at the start of the fight, so it started Louis Wahoo and my GT at the end. The start of that fight would cut out, but the rest of the footage should make up for it, so hope you all enjoy. Oh. oh, really? Oh my god. Oh! oh. You got him? What? He's right there. Oh, right there. that's a Wahoo. That's a Wahoo. Look at him. Look at him. Look. Oh! oh. Come over, cast over the other side. Oh, this is sad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Livey, livey, livey. Where are they? There, there, there. I know it. Yep, 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 yes. Listen to this. Look at him cutting through the water. Oh. All right, reel that in, babe. Oh, look at him. Did he just get sharp or is he jumping? Can you drive for me? Go out that way. Yep. Slow down. Stop. Here, get the gaff out. It's so sick. Hey? I had like three come up. Yeah, I know. Let's go. Oh shit. Ready? I'll pass you the rod and I'll gaff him. This is a good one. Look at them all underneath us. You will, trust me. Yeah. Keep tension and bring them back up. Yes, babe. Woohoo! Right. Up, up the front. And you want now? He's big. Ready? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be slimed up. <laughs> so worth it. Just get in the loop. Oh man, that was awesome. Let's try and get, see if we can get one on a stick bait now. So I've been, had a few strikes, Libby did, but I just weren't committing. But as soon as that live bait hit the water, he was all over it. It's so good to get one off the top. Ready? <laughs> Got that. That looks so cool. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Little yellow fin. Whew. Yeah. Backflip. Good? Yep. Alright. Get the sucks out. Alright, little jelly bean. Oh, 
call them Wahoo or Spanish? What would you rather? Spanish. <laughs> Loving it out now. Not doing much. One big run at the start and then come in pretty easy. Yeah, one last run. There we go. There he is. Oh, it's a big wahoo. Awesome. There we go again. Here you go, first wahoo. Yay! <laughs> The stripes on him. Ready? Try to pass me the lead after I loop him around. Babe, that's almost bigger than mine. Yes. Look at that. Oh. Okay, finally. Oh. The alarm is open. All right, ready? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's about the same as mine, I think. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Take a look at that. Bessie. How's that? Yay. <laughs> Number two, I think we'll give those who will rest for a sec because they're hard to release. But bloody hell. Has she got hers in the troll? Nomad. Bloody diver, whatever it's called. Give him a measure and see if it's bigger than mine, eh? Probably is. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that's bigger than mine. Just I have to look at the video, but that's yeah, so that'd be about meter forty, meter fifty. Oh, well, it's a bad day for your deck wash to stop working. <laughs> I think the Essex is full too. Holy demon, had to cut them in half. Just wahoo in half to make them fit. A nice snap in there as well. I think we've stocked up the freezer. <laughs> we have to give some of that wahoo away to someone at the boat ramp or something. It's a struggle to eat all that. Got a big family, but not that big. Right, we're giving those wahoo a rest because I don't want to keep another one. It's already filled the esky up, so we're going to chase a few more snapper or some reefies on the Koga again. So. Libby's chucked a live bait down and uh, I'm going to run the Koga to see what they eat. So, see how we go. We're over a good school of fish now. Oh! Yep. Get real, listen. Oh! Jeez! It's going to do me. Oh, it's gonna do me. Yeah, he's in something. Oh no. Rodney, you've done it again, mate. <laughs> Coming up now. I swear he had me in the reef nearly. I can feel something. That was a big run. Net ready. That's my 
<laughs> it is. You know, snapper. Oh. Nah, I think that's a spangled or a, yeah, I think it's spangled emperor. Yep. Yep. Another species today. First spangled emperor on the Koga too. Oh wow, that's a good looking one. Ready? Hell yeah. Alrighty, nice little spangled to finish off the day. I think it's going to be one of our last drifts now. So, first spangled emperor on the Koga jigs. Yeah, I think we'll let this guy go. I don't like keeping them too much. They're too pretty. So I'll release this guy now. Good. Anybody? Oh, he's ready to go. Ready? Here, yeah, mate. Awesome. Go for a last pop on the way home. We've got a little GT, I think. Yeah. Nice little one. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. Ah. Woo! What a way to finish the day. <laughs> All right, how's that? A little pop on the way home. A little GT. Oh, I'm done now. That's it. Icing on the cake. Alright guys, that's all we had time for unfortunately, so just thought I'd run through some of the lures and setups that we're using today. Um, so, new all-time favourite offshore lure would have to be the Diver Koga Jig. So that smashed it today, that was outfishing all the live bait and stuff that we had out at the same time. Um, so these guys have got a really unique design, so they've got a, a sliding weight system, so when you're doing long hops off the bottom or dropping it down initially, the weight comes apart from the skirt and then joins together and in my opinion looks like a little crustacean or a hermit crab or something like that darting into its shell trying to get away from the fish that's about to get it and then you can completely change up the retrieve to a fast jig like you would have seen uh, to target those pelagic fish sitting up a bit higher in the water column um, so that was paired up with a TD Hyper 5 to 9 kilo rod and a Phantom Hyper 4000 with 30 pound J braid on it um, so that's pretty much what they look like in the shops when you get them in the packet. Uh, so I was using the 60 gram. So that's pretty much a good all-rounder from about 20 to 80 meters I've used it in, depending on the current. Um, so yeah, that's that. Libby got her Wahoo on the Nomad DTX Diver. So you can see it did some pretty bad damage to the back of it there and put some really gnarly teeth marks in it. And uh, she was running 80 pound braid, 100 pound leader on a Saltus, a 6500 Saltus reel. And I was pretty much running the same setup with mine, but with the live bait, obviously. And um, yeah, I was also chucking around the new range of Daiwa Spartan uh, poppers and stick baits. So that was a little one I got my GT on and had a few hits, uh, strikes from the Wahoo that didn't commit. But yeah, they're also a really good lure for offshore if you're looking for a surface lure to use. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So any more questions that you got, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them all for you. And uh, I'll probably be doing a more in-depth um, talk on these Koga jigs, just to give you a few tips and tricks for them um, in the next following video. So hopefully we get out again soon if this weather lets us and we'll get some more content out for you soon. So hope you've all enjoyed and we'll see you next time.